Hi, it's Mr. Wather here with the Stencils Educators Kit, and we're looking at Lesson 3, the Extra Activities. We're looking at the timer, the third one of the Extra Activities. Um, so I'm just going to run the game here while I read out the instructions here. So we're, we want to add a timer that ticks down once per second, and we want to split on the screen. When the timer reaches zero, we want to reload the scene. Um, there's also this bonus activity here to make the timer more authentic, display it as x colon xx format so that means minutes and seconds um, I won't do this but I'll do the first part I'll leave that bonus activity for you so again we have uh, our guy here with the coins we have some uh, coins that add score and we have some coins that take away score so we want to add a timer that's gonna be underneath the scene let's click on scenes and stop click on level one it brings up our event click on events and what we want to do we want to uh, draw something new and what I would do I guess we could we could include it within this block um, first thing we need to do is add an attribute for timer so an attribute or a variable they're interchangeable in this so we want a game attribute or global attribute one that uh, pertains to the whole game we'll go create new game attribute let's call it uh, let's call it time yes time it's gonna be a number and our time uh, for testing purposes I'm just gonna leave it at let's go with uh, five seconds or a value of five rather okay so what do I want to happen I want every for every second I want my time value to go down one so I need I need to add actually actually add a new event so I'm gonna add an event and under time we have after n seconds or every n seconds every n seconds is what I want after n seconds happens only once I want this to be kind of a continuous loop so every n second so let's go every do every one second I want to set my time to uh, let's go to do, 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 zero no I want to set it to plus yes I want to set it to time take that off sorry my bad minus I want to set a time minus one so just like we did with the negative coins set a time minus one and we should probably display this on our screen so uh, we should go back to the drawing before I do that I just want to also double click here and call this um, timer whoops call this timer just so we kind of get a little more organized. Okay, and what I want to do, I want to draw text. Take this off, copy that, take away the score. Don't want, don't want the score, you want the time. Draw the time, where do you want it? Uh, maybe I'll put it somewhere on the right side of the screen, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe around here, give or take. See, it's around uh, 3, 375 ish. Again, this is something for you to play around with. 375 will have it in the same Y as the uh, score. Let's see what happens here. Loading. So again, we also want to reload the reload the scene when the timer reaches zero. And uh, we'll look at that in one second. So there it goes. So there's our timer. It's going down. Probably look better actually if we moved it over a little bit. And you know what? It's going negative. Let's keep on going. I'm going to move it over. 35. Okay, so we need something to reload the scene. So let's check this out right here. Let's type in reload. And we have reload crossfade for zero seconds. And there's also this guy here, which is pretty big. Let's just maximize this. Reload and fade out for so many seconds. 
using black and fade in using for so many seconds using the color. So crossfade pretty much does the same thing as this. The only difference here we can choose different colors to fade it out. Crossfade I um, should do the same thing. So I'm going to use that instead. So up uh, do one updating two or nine seconds. Yes. So I actually don't want to bring this here. What I want to do is actually when updating, make a new event and call this reload. Reload. So I want to reload, but I don't want to just straight up reload. I want to reload if uh, time equals zero. So if my something equals, well, equals or less than, I guess. Mm -hmm. Equals or less than time is equal to or less than that's this one here. And I want my attribute. Take my time. If time is equal to or less than zero, reload and crossfade for yeah. Let's just go for one second, and let's see uh, what happens with this. Loading. So when you run this, think. I wonder what's going to happen. Are there? Is there something here that I'm missing? So around. Oh, so we see it reloads, but I'm negative, so it keeps on reloading. It keeps on reloading. So I need to reset the timer, and maybe you want to reset score. That's just uh, something to think about. So. You probably want to go back here and set timer to set timer to um, back to five seconds. If you want the score back, go to back right. Yes, yeah, right. To go back to zero, then you might want to do that as well. And um, let's try that out. All right, so we have our game here, and timer is up, and it resets. Our score is reset. Timer is reset. Um, one thing I wanted to try is rather than use this crossfade, I want to show you this fade in and out, which I think actually would have a better effect. Just hold on, shift, grab that guy, throw in the garbage, put that right here, and let's fade out for. One second, fade back in over one second, and let's test that up to see how it looks. And I think that's about it. That's, oops, let's test it out. So we see it fades out, fades back, and we also notice the timer. I set to five, but um, when the scene gets reloaded, it goes to four. That's because it fades in at one second. Um, maybe you could, you could change around, put it to zero, put it to one half, something like that, or just change your timer um, to something more substantial. So thank you for uh, watching this video. Again, what we did, we added a timer, and we did that within our level under events. We did a timer, made a attribute called time, which we can set the initial value, and every second we drop the time by one. And then also within the drawing tab, we just drew our time onto our screen using the XY coordinates. And finally, we reloaded the scene, resetting our variables, our attributes, back to their initial values. All right, thank you so much and hopefully I'll get a save game video up pretty quick here. Cheers.